Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Elizabeth Westbrook. She's a cancer control specialist for the Kentucky Cancer Program. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning, Christy. Elizabeth, March is National Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Elizabeth, why is this month so important? We have found out that colon cancer is a preventable disease. Mm -hmm. And also, if it's detected early, it's treatable and in many cases curable. And we want to find it early. So we've been celebrating this for like 15 years, March Colon Cancer Awareness Month and Dress in Blue Day. Now, Elizabeth, I know that... Uh promoting screenings is something that you all do. At what age should people start uh, colon cancer screenings? Well, for people who are at average risk, it should start at 45. And it's generally recommended between the ages of uh, 45 and 80. And it's also uh, for people who are at high risk, who either have a family history of colon cancer or polyps, which are growths that aren't supposed to be there, or who have, you know, a family inherited conditions such as Lynch syndrome that puts them at higher risk, they need to be screened earlier and more often. Mm -hmm. Also people with Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. Now, why should someone be screened even if they are not having any symptoms? Well, colon cancer is one of those things that oftentimes the people who have it feel fine. Mm -hmm. So certainly we would want, if people did have symptoms, we would want them to check with their doctor, even if they're not 45 yet. But we know that uh, many times by the time the cancer has spread, you know, it, I mean, it's already spread before they would even have symptoms. So that's why it's so crucial to catch it early when it's more likely to be curable. Now, Elizabeth, besides colonoscopies, are there other screenings uh, that people can look into? There definitely are. There are uh, stool-based tests. One of those is a FIT test, and another is a combination of a FIT and DNA test, which you sometimes see advertised on TV. The FIT tests have to be done once a year. The stool-based DNA tests are done every three years. Colonoscopies, depending on if they find polyps and things, they may ca call you back in three years or five years or seven years. But if they don't find polyps and everything checks out good, it's usually 10 years when they call you back. If someone is interested in some of these screenings, what's the best way for them to be proactive and get started? Well, uh, learn as much as you can about it. And of course, they can always contact us at the Kentucky Cancer Program at 270-745-2044. It's important that you talk with your family and find out do you have a history of colon cancer? Because that makes a difference. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes too, people may have nobody in the family who's had colon cancer and still get it. But it's, And also if they don't have insurance or if they are underinsured, the Kentucky Colon Cancer Screening Program provides free screenings. Mm -hmm. And also if people are underinsured, they will kick in and pay their co-pays or their high deductibles so that they can be screened. Of course, they have to meet income eligibility. The and if they are interested in those free screenings or finding out if they are eligible, can they contact you all for more information? They can contact us or they can call 1-877-597-4655. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we'll see you next time.